What the bloody hell is a dank meme? I keep seeing this on the internet, dank meme. I know what a meme is, fucking picture with some funny writing on it. A dank one, however, not a fucking clue. Where I come from, dank mean marijuana, ganja, cannabis, Mary Jane, punk, skunk, dope, fucking whatever you want to call it. Weed, the shit you smoke in a Rizzler or a pipe or a bong. So I don't know what the fuck a dank meme is. A cannabis meme? No. Fuck knows. Tell me. And go and watch another fucking video. bit fucking sticky hot out there today, isn't it? Jesus Christ, it's warm. Sticky, sweaty, horrible. Bring me some wind. Not farting. Wench does enough of that in the fucking bedroom. She farts under the covers and fucking holds my head under the covers. Fucking smelly cow. Anyway. Hello, me again, Blue Pipe. How are you, you lovely fuckers? I'm not sure I introduced myself accordingly. My name is Blue Pipe. You are a fucker. It's not an insult. You are a lovely fucker, a glorious fucker. A wonderful fucker, fuck you, you fucker. Anyway, we're talking about fucking controllers. I'm not talking about fucking controllers, we're talking about controllers. I'm not sure. Well, put it this way. I just thought that anything I've ever thought of before, somebody else has thought of it. And done it. I just thought about fucking a controller. If any of you lot go on the internet can search somebody fucking a controller, I'm sure it's out there, but fuck me, it'll be weird. Anyway, stop blabbering, Ross. Get on with the fucking video. Xbox Elite controller, scuff controller. Apparent, uh, effectively, both exactly the fucking same thing. At E3, Microsoft announced their Elite controller with the paddles on the back, the triggers that you can stop so you don't have to press them as far, the interchangeability, blah, blah, blah. And I thought, that looks fucking good. That's done well. They've got everything in one unit. They've got the, um, you don't have to have this special little key that you get with scuff to change the buttons around. You just, on the fly apparently, just do it all as it is. Uh, lots of customization. So I thought it's a good idea. Oh, by the way, you're watching probably, oh no, 1 minute 34, you're probably onto the fucking scuff video by now. You're not watching any gameplay in the background because I thought I'm talking about the two controllers. You can watch something about the two controllers. So it, video might even get flagged for that, I don't fucking know. If it does, I'll delete it and re-upload it without the controller videos in the background. Anyway. When it was first announced, I thought, good, Microsoft have seen this product that Scuff make. I thought it's good, they'll make their own. Um, obviously with their own changes. What do I like about it? As I said, I like that you can change everything on the fly. I like that, I, I half like that you can change stuff around, add or remove buttons if you want to. It looks all right. I don't like the D-pad, that fucking hexagonal fucking thing. No, just give me up, down, left, right, and I'll press in between if I want in between. Um, so it's fairly good. You can fucking change the tension of the thumbsticks. Good. You can, because obviously when the more you use them, the looser they get, so you can tighten them up. You can fucking change the different trigger stops so you don't have to pull it as far. Pretty good. Now let's go on to the fucking scuff one. It's a scuff. It's the fucking same that's always been done a million times before. It's got the trigger stops that you adjust with an Allen key, I think. It's got the four paddles on the back. You can have one, two, three, or four. It's got the little fucking disc over the D-pad. But now, what have they done? Just how Xbox have done. Interchangeability. You can fucking take out a joystick. You can put in a joystick. You can take off the D-pad. You can take off your paddles at the back. I don't think it's a fucking good idea. I think it's a good idea, but I don't think it's a good idea. How can I fucking make a video when I don't contradict myself for 30 seconds? It's stupid. But um, I don't know if you heard that or not. Um, so why is the interchangeability not a good idea? For the consumer, it's not a good idea because obviously consumers are going to lose parts. It's what fucking happens. How many times have you lost an accessory to something? Lost a charging cable, lost a headset for your fucking headphones for your iPhone or phone. Lost a little something that comes with it because it's not permanently attached to it. So you pick up your controller, you take off two paddles, you put them down, you fucking cat or your kid or your dog comes in and fucking runs off with the cunt, you never see him again. So it's bad because then we have to spend more money to get spares and replacements. Why is it good for Xbox and scuff? Well, fucking work that out for yourself. They get more money, don't they, dickheads? Um, I don't understand why Xbox haven't done this years ago. Very strange. Um, they could see how, surely they could see how popular scuff was getting. Obviously they have now because they've made their own and obviously it's been in uh, design for a long time. 
but goodness me, Scuffs have been out for five, six years. They could have done it three years ago. And I imagine Scuff would have been out of business by now. Obviously, they've got the PlayStation market because PlayStation don't do it yet. Why not? Don't know. They must want to maximise their profits, so design a PlayStation Scuff and sell it. Don't do the interchangeability because, like, on the Scuff, on the, sorry, on the Xbox Elite one, you've got the paddles here. So as soon as I pick up the controller, I'm going to press them. It happened when I got this controller. Every time I picked it up, I'd press X. Fucking annoying, but you get used to it. Apparently they're a bit too sensitive on the Xbox scuff, Xbox Elite. Don't know how they're going to change that. Um, but what I don't understand is why are they selling it with everything? They're selling it with four paddles. This is the Xbox One and the scuff, I guess. They're selling it with four paddles. Sell it with what people want. If somebody wants to buy the controller, let them buy the controller for the normal Xbox controller price. If they want four paddles, sell them four fucking paddles at a fiver each or something. Um, if they want one paddle, fiver. There's no, no one's going to go to a car showroom and say, I want that car and buy it with all the fucking extras already installed. And then, okay, right, I don't want this paddle. I don't want that paddle. So I'll take them off. I don't want the aircon in the car. I don't want the high quality sound system in the car. I'll take it out. No, you just buy it without it and save your fucking money. This Xbox scuff is fucking £130 apparently. I can buy a PlayStation 4 for £170. 50 quid more expensive, if my maths is alright, for a fucking console. I, the argument doesn't really work because I spent 200 quid on a fucking headset when the console was only 250 quid. I spent myself 80 quid on my scuff. Uh, I'm not sure why anyone would buy the Microsoft Own over the scuff. Maybe you can use the headset easier. I don't know because it's Microsoft's own. How long do you reckon Scuff will stay in business now? If Sony put out their own, I'm sure Scuff would die very quickly and very, uh, well, very quickly. There's no other fucking words. Um, but maybe Sony should go into partnership with Scuff or Xbox go into partnership with Scuff. Put the Xbox or PlayStation logo on the Scuff controller. Have Scuff make it. You maximise a small company's profit. Small Scuff is a small company in the scheme of things, especially compared to Microsoft and Sony. They get to maximise their profit. You get a bit more fucking profit because they'll pay you the rights or whatever to use your Microsoft logo on it. Everyone's a fucking winner. So, I don't know. I didn't actually chat too much shit in this video, I don't think. That'll do for me. It's fucking hot outside. I'm going to go and sit in it and do fuck all else. Maybe have a little fucking beer. I don't know. Cheeky, cheeky, chappy. See you later, fuckers. If you're still here, like my video. Subscribe to my channel and fucking comment on my video because you're a glorious fucker. If you're not going to do them, fuck off because you're a cunt. Adios. I love you.